Sunday, February 10, 2013. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and this is my 1995 Subaru Legacy L Outback. Right now I'm going to do the PCV valve, uh, because that is a general maintenance item. I don't know for sure if the old one is bad or not, but the uh, new one is cheap, and it's a very easy item to replace. So, let me just show you where it is here. We're looking at the passenger side of the engine, so I'm going to zoom in for you right here. And here is the top of the intake manifold, and on the passenger side, you'll see the PCV valve uh, right here screwed into the top of the intake manifold, right next to the um, ignition coil, and attached to this hose right here. So, I'm going to release this uh, hose clamp right here, which uh, can be done, you know, by hand. And since this hose is really stiff, I don't want to uh, risk uh, wrenching on it and breaking it right now, so... I'm actually going to unscrew the PCV valve, and once I have a little more wiggle room, then I'm going to take it off the um, hose right there. Worst case scenario, I can go down to the auto parts store and try to match up a hose, but I'd rather not uh, have to do that today if I don't have to. So, this is actually uh, a 19 millimeter fit fitting right here, so hopefully it won't be seized into the intake manifold. And it is uh, releasing nice and easy, so... Give me a moment and I'm going to get this out. Okay, I have it unscrewed from the intake manifold, so now I just need to uh, release it here from this hose. Okay, well I got the old one out and all I had to do was heat up the end of that hose with a heat gun a little bit. And you can see the inside here is a little bit gunked up, but uh, actually I'm going to go ahead and replace this. And installation is basically the reverse of removal. Although, on the new one, I am going to put just a paper-thin coating of anti-seize on it. Um, the old one did not seize in the intake manifold, but I can't guarantee that the new one won't. And just for comparison, see if you can hear this. This one is uh, moving nice and freely and is not gunked up, so this here is the new part. And I'm going to put a little bit of anti-seize here on the threads. And now I just thread the new one in. It's going in nice and easy by hand. That's about as far as it'll go there, so now I'll just continue on with my uh, wrench here. And from there, I just put the hose back on. And that's all there is to replacing the PCV valve. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy. Thanks for watching.